Hey folks, welcome to Testing Hacks. In this video, we are going to study about what is ad hoc testing and what are the different types of ad hoc testing we have and also the advantages and disadvantages of ad hoc testing. Before we begin, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get more updates. So then, ad hoc testing is usually performed to break the system using unconventional ways. That means that the unexplored part, if you want to test that, you can go ahead with ad hoc testing. This type of software testing is performed informally and randomly to find out any loophole in the system. Ad hoc testing is an unstructured way of testing the application which basically do not follow any kind of methodological approach. So let's understand why uh, ad hoc testing is known as unstructured way of testing. Uh, in this approach, testing is commonly done through error guessing technique and it do not contain any kind of documentation test cases and test designs. So that is the reason it is known as unstructured testing. And we have three different types of ad hoc testing. One is monkey testing, buddy testing and pair testing. Let's see one by one. Monkey testing. Monkey testing is a type of ad hoc testing in which the system is tested based on random inputs without any test cases and the behavior of the system is tracked and all the functionalities of the system is working or not is monitored. So basically by putting some random values that's when we test it which is majorly known as monkey testing. The randomness approach is used in this testing. That is why it is termed as monkey testing. Next is buddy testing. Buddy testing is a type of ad hoc testing where two bodies or you can say two buddies will be involved. One is from the development team and another is from testing team. This testing is done so that the tester does not end up reporting errors generated through invalid test cases. Next is pair testing. Pair testing is a type of ad hoc testing where two bodies or same as two buddies from testing team can be involved to test the same module. They work together to share ideas, opinions and knowledge over the same application to identify errors and defects. So the major difference between buddy testing and uh, pair testing is in buddy testing, one from development team will be involved, one from testing team will be involved. When it comes to pair testing, it is both of them are testers who you might have done the same kind of testing, but you might not be knowing this terminology. So examples of ad hoc testing, providing the inputs to the system that are in invalid range to check whether the resulting action taken by the application is appropriate or not. Next is copying the application URL and manipulating it to run on a different browser. This is done to ascertain that any unauthorized user is not able to access the system. So you can get prepared with these kind of examples in the interview. Before going to interview, you can prepare for some of the examples on ad hoc testing. Next is advantages of ad hoc testing. The errors which cannot be identified with written test cases can be identified by doing this ad hoc testing. It can be performed within very limited time and it helps to create unique test cases with different kind of approach. This test helps to build a strong product which is less prone towards the future problems. It can be combined with the other testing techniques and executed to produce more informative and effective results. These are the major advantages of performing ad hoc testing. Next is disadvantages of ad hoc testing. If the testers do not have prior knowledge about the working of the application under test, 
then performing ad hoc testing will not be able to uncover many errors he should have prior knowledge about the software otherwise it is in disadvantage of performing ad hoc testing though the tester will understand it uh, each of the steps but until and unless it is in complex application it is difficult it does not provide any assurance that the error will be definitely identified since there is no previously created and documented test cases the amount of time and efforts that go into this testing remains uncertain so that uh, so these are the disadvantages of performing ad hoc testing so yeah this is about the ad hoc testing if you like the video thanks for watching bye bye